हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर गोविंद राय गर्ग एंड अलोंग विद मी इज डॉक्टर दिलीप सो दिलीप सर वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंटरेक्ट विद द स्टूडेंट्स एंड रिगार्डिंग दिस सेरेबेलम ऐप सो इन दिस सेरेबेलम वी हैव फोर वर्ड्स द कंटेंट इज कंसेप्चुअल क्लिनिकल रेलेवेंट एंड रिवाइजेबल सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दीस फोर पॉइंट्स एंड हाउ दे आर रेलेवेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स so basically one is actually a continuation of each other sir like for example the first thing what is said that's the like core of our c cerebellum yes. yeah it is conceptual so without concepts i don't think students will be able to crack any exam for that yeah. matters so first thing our core principle of cerebellum is the concept yeah. so we're going to deliver the concepts to the students so that even whatever questions that they get in exams outside what we deliver they'll be able to answer based on those concepts definitely so basically conceptual content is required if you know the basic concepts you can crack any exam not only fmg or pg entrance Correct. you can crack even the mle plab and any exam so the concept is the core of any education so yes. that is important yes sir whatever may be the type of exam the concepts are going to remain the same definitely i always tell the students the same thing so diseases remain the same so students are worrying about the next will come then what we will do i also keep on telling that if you know the basic concepts you just assume that the name will change rest yes. everything is same yes so in the next exam what they are going to ask they are maximum going to ask the same diseases same investigations same treatment and it's not going to change maybe the question pattern may change only thing maybe the questions may become little lengthier or they may ask kind of a comprehension type questions assertion reasoning whatever may be the case obviously the concept is going to stay with you forever and that is what is going to translate into any success so that is about concept concept second is clinical so this word is in these days so everyone says our content is clinical our content is clinical obviously it is medical science it must be clinical so it cannot be anything without clinical yeah. so what are your says student will understand what is the real meaning of clinical after seeing our lectures yes. so i am damn sure after seeing dr dilip's lecture you will come to know what actually clinical means so it is not just for saying clinical you can feel that the patient is standing in front of you and what you will do now so that is clinical actually yes exactly so our medicine lectures is going to be structured in such a way that if a patient comes into your opd walks in what are the questions you are going to ask next so based on the answers they give what is the diagnosis you are going to achieve once you make a diagnosis what is the next investigation that you are going to do is not only about next investigation what are the options that are there for the patient and after that what is the possible treatment you can give and after treatment we are going to extend into the side effects of those treatment and how to manage those side effects so it's going to be complete 360 degree coverage of whatever diseases you encounter how to manage them and that's how your future exams are going to be so basically if you are doing everything about that disease so obviously any type of exam comes you can answer every type of question because you have covered from 1 and go till 100 and then come back to 1 so you have discussed everything about that thing so obviously you can answer any sort of question so yes. that is what clinical means yes then next is relevant that is the point which i feel is missing at most of the platforms yes sir the thing is like even though we say like human memory is infinite but a human brain can comprehend only some amount of information at a point of time so giving so much of information at the same point of time is as good as not giving information at all definitely so it's better that we give very relevant content relevant in the sense what is important for exams plus at the same time they should not falter in their practice as well so it's going to be 100% accurate information of what is happening right now plus at the same time it's going to be absolutely relevant for whatever exams they are preparing right now so basically we also keep on saying to the students that the job of a teacher it is obviously to tell what to study but more important job is to tell what not to study exactly sir so we do not say that do not study that thing but important thing is the limited time you have these are the must know things so you must know everything about these then little bit less about these and very less about these 
So we need to differentiate that only then you can get the relevant things. People often confuse when we say that you know, have to know everything. So what are the things that you have to know in everything? That is what is going to be yeah, more important. Definitely. So last one is the revisable. Yes, sir. The moment we give conceptual content and relevant content, it automatically becomes revisable definitely. easily for the students. So one thing that we often face in the current era, students are having so many sources. So the problem is not about the sources. The question is not the sources here. The question is whether they are effective or not. So whatever content we are going to deliver has to be effective at the last moment. What is the fun in giving so much of content if it is not going to translate into Your their right. results? Yeah, definitely. Obviously. So it has to translate into results and that is what we are working for. So based on whatever I've seen in the last previous year question papers and based on whatever could be the examiner's trend, examiner's mentality in asking. So those are the pointers that we're going to discuss in our lectures as well. For example, I'm not going to take the entire Harrison table and just give it the table this, 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 this important. So that's not, so that students can get a PDF of Harrison, they can oh, read it. Yeah, so the idea is what will be the catch points for the examiner. And those points have to be emphasized. And when somebody is reading Harrison for the first time, they will not be able to comprehend it. Mm -hmm. That is my job. Definitely. That is what I have to tell the students. Like this is something that's eye-catching for the examiner. Mm -hmm. And that point is what is important for exams. So basically, as Dr. Dilip is saying that the content at most of the platform is fascinating. It is excellent content. But the problem is how to retain that. Because it is so exhaustive and so so much content that it is out of the your domain you cannot memorize everything because you have limited time had you been having eight years ten years then that is okay but if you have to remember that in one year maybe one and a half year then that becomes too much yes okay? sir so that's why revisable content is very important i always believe rather than fulfilling my fact fantasy in teaching <laughs> i have to fulfill the fantasy of the examiners and the board definitely that is more important definitely. i may have a lot of fantasies in a lot of topics which I like. That is not important. What is important is what is the examiner's fantasy? Definitely. What he will ask. So that's the relevant point made by Dr. Dilip that uh, examiner's knowledge we need to know that what he wants to ask rather than how much I know. And it is lucky for me that I don't know too much. So I know very less so I can deliver very less and the exam question also come from that only. Okay? But we are teachers like Dr. Dilip who know everything. But they also know that what to deliver, which is most relevant for you. So in this cerebellum, we are keeping these four points in mind. The content will be conceptual, clinical, relevant and revisable. So thank you very much. This is Dr. Govind Raikar. Thank you very much, sir. That is very, very modest of you. Because uh, even I have read my textbook only. And everyone who was, who are my friends and my colleagues have read your textbook from the past. So that is really, really modest of you to say that <laughs> I know very little and questions are going to come from that only. So basically, guys, our motto is very, very simple. So as Sar said, it has to be conceptual and should be absolutely clear to the students what should be read and what probably not to be focused upon that much. It should be relevant and more importantly, it should be revisable so that it's going to effectively translate into your results. And thank you very much. This is Dr. Dillon. And thank you very much.